With the recent changes to the RNG meter, it is now really easy to make a ton of profit, but the items you think might not be the most profitable to choose, as you can choose from many, many items. So you can probably see where I'm going with this. I created a calculator that tells you the best item to pick for maximum profit. So before we get into using it, please subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out and help us get to 30,000 subscribers for YouTube rank. All right, let's get on with the video. So the spreadsheet is linked in the description and when you open it, the first page will look something like this. This is not actually where the stuff is. Instead, it's all along this bottom bar. So for example, for each Slayer, you're gonna wanna click in. So, so this is every single item you can get in this name category. Then we have the Slayer XP category, which is how much Slayer XP each item takes. Then the sale price, which is how expensive each thing is on the auction house or the bazaar, depending on where it's sold. Then it gives you this coins per XP ratio, which is how many coins you get for the amount of XP it takes to achieve the reward. And obviously it tells me that the Warden Heart is the best one for Rabbit and Horror. That one is a pretty obvious one because most Slayer XP is going to be the most expensive because it takes the longest to get. However, that does leave some confusing things, like you may think the Shard of the Shredded is the next best, when in reality, you get more coins per XP just selling Revenant Viscera and setting that on the RNG meter. And things that take a lot, like the Scythe Blade, are actually really, really horrible. You can see a similar with the Tarantula Broodfather and the Tarantula Talisman being worth way more than the Digestive Mosquito, so that is the best ratio. And there are some empty parts of this sheet just because I didn't have access to how much Slayer XP and I couldn't find out how much it was. So if anyone has this, you can contact me on Discord or something and I can help add it in. But you can also see it for dungeons and this is where you get some really interesting stuff. Obviously on floor one, the recom is the best one to pick, rather than the floor one specific drops like the Bonzo Staff. That continues on to floor two and even on floor three. And still on floor four, but on floor five, you start getting a little bit closer with the Shadow Assassin Chestplate is a higher coins per XP ratio. However, the recom is still the highest, which you may not have thought from the beginning. On floor six, the recom is finally not the best, where you instead would want to go with the giant sword. And on floor seven, obviously, the Necron's handle is the best, and it's not even close. Literally nothing else is worth setting on your RNG meter besides the Necron's handle. All of this is fetched live from the server, so sometimes there can be some errors depending on if the item is properly is updated at the time. So if you want to resolve those errors, just go back to the homepage and check this box and that will make all of the stuff reset, so you should get rid of any errors. So how do you actually change which item is coming up in the RNG meter? This is pretty easy. Just go in for dungeons, it's actually a little bit strange. You go to skills, then you go to dungeoneering, then you click on the, uh, the catacombs, then you click on catacombs RNG meter, and then into the RNG meter, and you can set the item. So for example, set the recomp. For slayers, you just wanna go to the hub, then make your way over to Aatrox, where you click into the desired slayer, then click the RNG meter and you can set the item from there. So for this one, the Warden Heart was the best. If you found this helpful, remember to subscribe. If you notice anything wrong with the video, please let me know. And click on screen to hear about some forgotten money-making methods that can still earn you a ton of coins. Goodbye.